Hi everyone, this is Guinea Pigs G, and today I am here with Baldwin, and we're just going to go over some basic information that you might find helpful if you own or are thinking of getting a skinny pig. So, um, the things I'm going to go over is temperature, skin care, and their hair. And maybe we'll get into a little bit of their personality. So, first thing I'm going to talk about is their skin. Um, it's not a good idea to bath your skinny pig because you could dry out their skin. They got very sensitive skin and um, they need the oils and if you bath them you can dry out their skin and just create a big mess for yourself so not a good idea. So instead of bathing what I use is coconut oil and I use organic pure coconut oil um, and I don't drench him in it I just put it on a nice soft towel or a face cloth and um, I just wipe it along his back if we, he'll let us you gonna come out buddy so I can show people he says I do <laughs> you do not want to come out do you touch your bum maybe nope not budging okay we'll go this way <laughs> there I got you so along his back right from here down you can get a little greasy so usually what I do is I just take the coconut oil on a cloth say this is the cloth just about a, maybe a dime size and I just gently rub it all on his skin but these are the worst spots right here but I put it all over in the winter time because it kind of helps with the moisturizing him and I wipe it off and you'll get a little bit of like a, a black gritty stuff on there and that's just that's just his grease it's nothing and back here right there is his grease gland and it's just above his testicles you can see there's his little grease gland that there I put a little bit of coconut oil on I let it sit for about half a minute minute and then I wipe it off and it comes off quite nicely and it's all clean and he's ready to go and that's all that there is needed for a skinny pig for bathing you don't need to wash them unless they get some poop stuck to their feet or their bum or something like that you really don't need to bathe them and I'm sure he, I'm sure the piggies don't mind not being bathed I know mine don't like it it's not a good experience for them so I don't do it unless it's necessary um, so that's pretty much for the bathing part Another thing to watch out for in skinny pigs is dry skin. Um, if you see they're getting dry skin, you can use a little bit of aloe vera on it. Um, there's also, um, it's a vitamin C cream. It's not even a cream, it's like a Vaseline that you can use on them. Um, there's also a place where you can buy, which I can't think of the name for the life of me right now, but when I think of it, I'll put it in the description below. You can actually buy lotion for skinny pigs and use that. But I, I, I've never had to so far, knock on wood. So we've been good just using the coconut oil. So that covers the skin part. Well, not really. If you get a scratch, it's good to have on hand iodine, um, saline water. Uh, if you don't have saline water, you boil your water for about 10 minutes to clear it out, make sure there's no bacteria in it, to wash and disinfect the wound. I don't recommend putting peroxide on there, anything like that, it'll sting or irritate it and cause your guinea pig to itch, which will make the wound even bigger. So just use the basics, if it's a small little scratch, if it's a big scratch or a big cut, take your piggy to the vet, because there's a chance of infection and if you don't take them right away in the long run it'll wind up costing you more than it, it would have just to go in and get it taken care of right away and your piggy will thank you for it now for hair what little hair they do have around their face what you have to watch out for is little hairs curling into their eyes because this hair here is very wiry and curly I know I know I wish you'd come out for everybody He's being shy today, <laughs> and not normally shy, but today he just wants to stay in his snuggy sack. 
but yeah there we go so you just watch for the little hairs that they don't curl and grow into the eye because this can irritate and even scratch their eye and, the, and you don't want that so you just watch for it if you see one that's starting to grow into the eye then you kind of just take your finger and sorry buddy and you um, push it out of the eye and you just keep doing that until it eventually stops growing in towards the eye I do not recommend you trim these hairs anywhere around their face it is not a good idea they need what hair they do have there it's so they can feel basically if they go into somewhere that they, they're not sure if their body's gonna fit they can tell by the little hairs that stick out I know it don't look like he's got much but if those hairs touch normally they won't try and wedge themselves in there um so don't cut those they need them they're there for a reason so just leave them be and not only that if you go around their eyes trying with scissors trying to cut them that could be a catastrophe very dangerous you know if your piggy decides to suddenly move or balance you could poke accidentally poke them in the eye so it's just better just to just keep brushing it out of the eye and keep on training the hair basically to grow in a different direction um what else did i say i was going to talk about oh kitty cry <laughs> here buddy here you go hide in there <laughs> And he's gone. He hears the cat and he's gone. The kitty never bothers you. I don't know why you're scared of him. It's okay. It's alright. Um, so yeah. So Oh, temperature. That was the other one. Room temperature should always be at 70 to 75. Well, that's what I keep mine at. I've heard before 65 is good and upwards. But I like to keep mine right at 70 to 75 in the room. I have a little thermometer in there to keep an eye on it. And it's very good if you have a skinny pig to get a thermometer so you are not worrying whether your room is too hot or too cold or you know because you got the thermometer there and you know drafts are very bad for your piggies skinny pigs especially so you got to make sure that there's no you know if there's a window there you have some type of covering so that they don't get a draft um, mine's not by the window he's over away from the window but I still I wrap him up every night real snuggy and put blankets over so that you know I know he's warm all night because I'm not up to check the temperature in the room but I mean I have it pretty much set so that it stays at that temperature but it does get colder at night so just to give myself a little peace of mind I make sure that they're covered up with blankets and things so that's for the room temperature and that's about it that's pretty much just you know that's what you need to that's the basics of a skinny pig for their care I mean there's a lot more other little things that I can go into detail with but you know it's it's pretty much that's the the must need to know about your guinea pig and um, yeah they're fun they're very loving so far I've had nothing but joy from this little fella he's really he's quite the little comedian and um, yeah I don't think I'll ever go without owning a skinny pig in my life now that I've had him so um, this is guinea pigs G and we hope you like this video and please like subscribe and comment below and we will get back to you as soon as we can and we love hearing from you all thank you very much bye say bye Baldwin Say bye to everybody. You gonna give the camera a bite? Not today. <laughs> bye bye.